Well, 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 it looks like we're on the spread operator. This is a new feature as of ES6. It's represented by three dots. These three dots, when placed before an array or iterable, will expand or spread that array or iterable into many arguments needed for a function. Here's an example. I have a function named sum. Sum accepts three arguments. We have parameters a, b, and c. This function will return the sum of a plus b plus c. So to normally use this function, I would type the name of the function and then pass in three arguments like one, two, and three. Then to display the result, I will place this within a console.log statement. So the sum of one plus two plus three is six. Now, what if we need to pass in an array? So let's create an array of numbers. Let numbers equal one comma two comma three. And then I will attempt to pass in this array. Sum numbers. Now, what the heck do we have here? So we have one, two, three, undefined, undefined. So by passing in this array of numbers, this array is being stored within parameter A. Then we're adding our array plus B, which is undefined, plus C, which is undefined. That's why you see this here. So it would be nice if we were able to expand or spread this array into many different arguments. Luckily, we can do that with the spread operator. So we will precede our array with three dots, and that is the spread operator. We will spread this array into many arguments. And now, as you would expect, this will display the sum of six. So if you ever need to expand or spread an array or other iterable, just precede that array or iterable with three dots, and that is the spread operator. Here's another example. Let's say that I need to find the max number of a set of numbers. So to do that, I can use the math.max method, then pass in a bunch of numbers. Let's say the number is 1 through 10. Okay, then the maximum number from this range of numbers is 10. So what if we need to find the maximum number stored within an array? So let numbers equal, and I'm just going to copy all of these, then pass in my array into the max method. So the result is NAN, which means not a number. So we need to spread this array into many arguments, and we can use the spread operator for that. So we will precede this array with those three dots, and well, there we go. We have found the maximum value from this range of numbers stored within our array numbers. So in conclusion, everybody, that is the spread operator. It's three dots, and you place this before an array or other iterable, and it will spread that array into many different arguments needed for a function. So if you would like a copy of this code, I will post this to the comment section down below. And well, yeah, that's the spread operator in JavaScript.